Come on in. Well, thank you, uh, thank you for the opportunity uh, to interview me. Thanks, thanks. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, my name is Miss Murphy. Hi, Miss Murphy. Uh, my, my name is Joseph and uh, Joseph. It is a pleasure to meet you. Please take a seat. Well, thank you. Can I shake your hand first? Oh, sure. Why, here you go. Ow! Oh, my hand. Ow, that hurt. Uh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Murphy. I'm sorry about that. I, I'm kind of an old man. I don't know my own strength. I'm sorry about that. Oh, uh, well, it's only my arthritis, huh? I'll take care of it later. Yeah. You know. Likewise. Part of this interview. Yeah. Did you have any difficulty getting here today? Well, you know, Mrs. Murphy, uh, can I call you Mrs. or Ms.? I don't know if you're married. I just, uh, well, why? Uh, yeah. Ms. would be fine. Uh, Ms.? Ms.? Mrs. No, Miss Emma. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry I'm hot of here and I'm an old man. I'm sorry about that, Mrs. Murphy, but I just I forgot my, my hearing aid. But I do the best I, I can. I think you said Miss? That is correct. Okay, well, uh, you, you know, something is very wonderful here in Utah today, over here in Utah. And uh, the weather was fine, but that traffic was bad, bad. Yep, yep, yep. Uh oh, so how long have you been living here? Well, I mean, uh, I've been a Mormon for 25 years, and uh, I'm not a Mormon now, but... Uh, I left the Mormon church, and uh, and I'm in a new church right now, the Watchtower Society. And uh, but I mean, uh, I'm, I'm mentioning that because it kind of reminds me how many years I've been in Utah. Did you say how many years I've been in Utah? I believe you said 25 years. No, I mean, uh, what was the question again? How many how many years I've been in Utah? Yes, that is correct. How long have you been living here? Well, I've been in, in Utah for about 25 years, and I'm actually a, a former Texan. I used to live in Texas, and uh, and then I went to Utah, and then I've been here for about uh, 25 years. Okay, sir, and you say that you used to be a Mormon and you're no longer a Mormon. May I ask why you left the religion? Yep, yep, yep. Well, I mean, you know, uh, well, uh, 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 what'd you say? Why did you leave? Why did you leave the Mormon? Well, I mean, that's kind of a strange question. Are you a Mormon or something like that? Uh, yeah, I believe everybody who lives here is. Oh, boy, I'm behind the eight ball. I mean, you're a Mormon employer? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you know, I mean, I had bad luck trying to find a job after leaving the Mormon church. And so I hope you won't discriminate against me. I hope, I hope, I hope. Well, let's see what your credentials are, and then we'll determine at the end of the interview what will occur. Yeah, well, uh, before we do that, I... I just want to say that I left the Mormon church because I found out that uh, Joseph Smith, uh, you know, he had a... A criminal record, and you know, he was arrested and tried so many times, and I couldn't really uh, depend my eternal destiny, destiny, you understand, on a man like that. And I uh, had to leave the Mormon church, I had to leave, 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 leave. That's what I had to do. Hello, hello. Yes, but he did a lot of good for society, too. 
Yeah, but I mean, he, you know, I mean, I know you, you're my potential employer, and I, I don't want to fail this interview, but I, 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 you know, I heard so much bad things about him. False prophecies, he killed two people uh, before he was assassinated in 1944, June 27th, uh, yeah, when he wanted to become president of the United States. He killed two people, and so I, I couldn't stay in the Mormon church. I couldn't stay there. Had to get out, 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 out. That's what I had to do. Okay, but let me ask you something. Don't you feel comfortable living in a place where everybody else is following uh, the Mormon religion, and you are not one of us, and you're still living here? Don't I feel uncomfortable in, in Utah? Yeah, do you feel, don't you feel uncomfortable? Yes, my, my righteous soul is vexed every day. You know, I, 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 you know, everybody's a Mormon in Utah. I don't know what it is. It might be in the water or something. I don't know, people are drinking the water. So let me ask you, why are you still living here? Well, listen, lady, I mean, I don't want to be disrespectful. I mean, you know, I know you're a businesswoman in marketing and all of that. And so, uh, uh, but listen, I mean, what was the question again? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, old. I forgot the question already. I mean, I didn't hear for three seconds. I forgot, 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 forgot. Well, my first part of the question is, aren't you uncomfortable still living here? And why are you still living here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, I mean, I can, I'm old. I'm, I'm 80 years old. I, you know, I have arthritis. I, I, I can't, well, I'm retired. Retired, I can't. I mean, it's hard, hard to find a, a new place to live after a certain age. That's what I'm saying. Hello, hello, hello? Yes, I'm here. Yes, I know you're here. I'm, I can see you. I'm not blind. I see you. I, I, I have new glasses. Do you, you like my new glasses? Uh, yes, they're very nice. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I mean, uh, I think that... <coughs> I think we should, you know, maybe, uh, uh, you know, check out my credentials as, uh, as a future employee. In your marketing department, that's what I want to do. Excuse me, I didn't understand the last thing you said. And I thought I was hard of hearing. Now, I'm saying, lady, I, I'm sorry, lady, I didn't mean that, you know. I, 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 I think that I should give you my credentials. And, uh, you know, even though I'm a former Mormon, I still can be, well, I can, you know, do a lot of good, 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 good in your office. That's what I believe. Oh, sir, are you all right? Uh, yeah, well, I, I used to smoke, and, uh, you know, I'm just, and I can't get rid of the habit. That's why I became a Jack Mormon. Wait for a second, lady. I these cigarettes are killing me. Wait for a second. <laughs> uh, uh, I, uh, it pays to buy the best. Uh, here, have some water before you die in my office. Oh, well, thanks, lady. It's just, uh, this water good? I can't see that well. I mean, I need new glasses. I don't know if this water's yes, good. Pu it's purified water. It's spring water. You know, spring water? Oh. Oh. What kind of brand is it? Oh, well, I'm, I'm just a joke. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks a lot for this water, lady. Let me just take a sip. Oh, thanks. Well, listen, lady, shouldn't we get on with the interview? I mean, I have another job interview in the same day, so I, you know, I can't spend all this time. Okay, sir, uh, tell me about your educational background. <laughs> My educational background? What do you think, I'm a scholar? Uh, listen, my educational background is this. I completed two years of school, grammar school, that is. And uh, that's what I did. I had two years. I went, at least I went to the third grade. And 
What happened that you didn't continue your education after the third grade? Well, what happened is I, 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 I didn't go to the third grade. That's what happened. <laughs> what happened, sir? Well, you know, I mean, you can't, you know, put, you know, put that against me because Joseph Smith, he only completed two years of grade school too. He only went to, I think, the second or third grade, so you can't blame me for doing the same thing. I mean, I have, at least I went to the, you know, I think it was the third grade I went to. I don't even remember the second or the third grade. But listen, at least I went to school. Are you gonna hold that against me? No, sir. However, our, our our company we hire people who number one have a high vocabulary and number two have a high educational background. I have a high vocabulary, but I don't even know how to say vocabulary. I have a high vocabulary, you know. I, I've been using high vocabulary ever since I went into your office, and uh, you know, I mean, I. Uh, I mean, what do you want, a scholar? I mean, I, 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 well, I don't want to be arg argumentative, lady. I'm sorry, I'm kind of old, you know. I mean, you know how we are. But, uh, I, well, I, I listen, I, I, I read a dictionary, Webster's Dictionary, and at least I got up to B. I mean, I know something. I'm not dumb. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, but however, if you just have a third grade level of education, sir, you do not have experience with writing, and uh, you have to be able to work with numbers, and you have to be able to uh, keep track of uh, things, because otherwise you're going to be lost in this company, because this is a marketing agency. Well, I wasn't lost in the Mormon church. I was an elder there for 25 years. I mean, that's not easy, you know. I mean, you know, it's not easy when people are in front of you and they want to become gods, you know. I mean, I, I defended the Mormon church for years, for years. And I used vocabulary to do it. I mean, you know, I used the um, Book of Mormon, you know, the Doctrine of Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price, and the Bible, as far as it is uh, correctly translated. And I use vocabulary there. But, I mean, I'm not a Mormon anymore, but I, I, you know, I have some skills. Well, tell me, so if you have such a low level of education, how are you able to read? Can you repeat that again? If you have a low level of education, which is on the third grade level, so how are you able to read? I'm uh, sorry, lady, I can't hear you unless the battery of my hearing aid. Can you speak a little louder? It's hard to hear you. I sure can. How do you read if you only have a third level of education? Your reading skills. Uh, can you speak a little louder, lady? I still can't hear you. Your reading skills, to read, to read a book, to read anything. Uh, I'm sure I can't hear you, lady. I'm sorry. I mean, what'd you say? So, all right, let's go. Uh, I said, how do you read your books? How can you read? Oh, can I read? Of course I can read. <laughs> what do you think? I'm, I'm uh, you know, I mean, I, I, you know, we read in the second grade. You know, Humpty Dumpty for Santa the Wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, and all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty together again. That's what I read. And I read Little Red Riding Hood. I mean, listen, I know I'm being a little bit facetious, so it's kind of hot in here. Don't you have air conditioning? <laughs> However, sir. What are you laughing about? It's hot, 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 hot. Turn it on. I don't even know if I can work in this office. It's kind of hot in here. At least open up the window. I am 80 years, I mean 80 years old. I'm trying to put myself more older than I am. I'm sorry, lady. I'm kind of upset because there was a lot of traffic, so I'm sorry that I'm being a little facetious. Alexa, look, I use facetious. 
I used that big, that's a big word, facetious. I don't know what it means, but at least I used it. See, that's just it. Uh, the problem here is that you don't know these words. What do you mean the problem that's what it is? There's no problem, man. You know, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. What do you say again? I mean, you know, Okay, let me give you a word to spell. Spell Xanadu. What? Spell Xanadu. Is it be does it begin with an S? Uh, no, it does not begin with an S, sir. Well, what do you think this is? Crossword puzzles? You know, what do you think? I'm in a $25,000 pyramid? Listen, lady, I'm here to get a job. Job, job, job. J-O-B-E, job. And, uh, you know, I, I listen, I want to know, as an ex-Mormon, can I find a job in Utah? I can't find one. Every time, I, ever since I left the Mormon church, I can't find a job. There's people discriminating against me because I'm an ex-Mormon and they don't want to give me a job. You know, I'm lucky I'm alive. There's some, you know, there's been a lot of assassinations and since Joseph Smith, you know, I mean, I, I'm lucky to be alive, but I can't find a job. You know, I, I have to eat. I mean, food is, the price is going up. Up, 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 up. What do you think is cheap to eat? I mean, I like Obama, but still, those prices are going up sky high. Up to the sky. Oh, I'm sorry, lady. I don't mean to get upset. I mean, that traffic was so terrible. I mean, uh, that traffic was bad. Well, anyway, lady, I'm sorry. What'd you say? Well, I have to be perfectly honest with you. It's going to be very difficult for you to find a job here. I, I would highly recommend that you relocate to where you used to live. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who are you to kick me out, out of Utah? You know, where I stayed here, where I lived for the last 25 years. You have no right to kick me out. Out, out, out. You have no right. I mean, listen, I'm sorry, lady. I'm, I'm a really nice guy, but I'm just getting a little upset. It's like, it's hot. You don't even open up the window. Open it up. Up, 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 up. I am 80 years old, lady. Have some compassion. Have some mercy. Mercy, I said. But anyway, to answer your question, I mean, why is it going to be difficult for me to work here? I do have some education. I mean, you know. And, uh... <coughs> oh, sir. Here's your water again. Here, drink some more water. All right. <coughs> Yeah. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Can we go on now to the next question? Yeah, yeah, lady. We can go on to the next question, but, I'm, but before you do, uh, uh, you know, I'm a little concerned that you're not going to give me this job because you're a Mormon. And, uh, uh, Mormons don't give jobs to ex-Mormons. But anyway, let's go to the next question. Okay. All right. Uh, tell me about the company you worked for, the last place you worked, and what was your job title there? All right, lady. Listen, I mean, I thought I was afraid that you asked me about my job experience. I mean, I... I, I, I but uh, let me just look at the, the sheet I brought here and uh, the resume. I mean, you know, I, uh, I have some new glasses. I can't, I can't see that good. I can't. Well, I mean, I, I don't mean I can't see that good, but I mean it's kind of foggy. These glasses or something. Let me look over here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It took me time to find it, but yeah, I did find something. Uh, 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 uh,
Well, I mean, there were advertisements for a suit company, and they, were, they had a sale on suits, and uh, so I had to give out them flyers, and it wasn't easy, you know. Sometimes I had to stay there outside in the street for a very long time, for hours and hours. And uh, I remember, lady, I mean, just to make a you know, long story short, used to be out in the street in the snow, in the snow. I mean, I thought Rudolph was going to fly overhead. I thought I was going to see Santa Claus, for Pete's sakes. I mean, listen, I was staying there and I was faithful, faithful. That's how I did it. And uh, everybody else was going inside the stores and drinking coffee and all that stuff, being hot and warm and all that. You know, and I was really reticent of the time that we couldn't rob time from the employers. We couldn't rob it because we were working in the sight of God, not men. You know, read Ephesians chapter 6, verses, uh, I want to see, uh, verses 5 to 9 in Ephesians chapter 6. And, uh, and I was out there for a long time in, in 20 degree weather and it was snowing and I was still handing out the prize. That's what I did. Okay, and how long did you work for this uh, shoe, shoe company? What? Shoe company? What, what do you mean shoe company? This is a shoe it's company. Shoot, shoot, shoot. No, what, what kind of flyers were you handing out? Correct me, because I must have misheard you. Listen, lady, I'm the one that's supposed to be deaf, not you. I'm saying that I use well, I'm sorry, lady, I didn't really mean that again. That was the traffic that got me a little excited, so I'm sorry. I'm really a nice guy, you know, at least at home anyway. Uh, uh, what was that question again? Uh, the question was, what kind of flyers were you handing out? Well, lady, you know, I was handing out flyers for a suit company suit. S-U-U-T-E, suit. And I'm sorry for the spelling. I only went to the second grade. I mean, you know, I forget. But anyway, you know, I, uh, uh, you know, they do have computers that check out the spelling so I can still work in your company. But anyway, uh, uh, again, lady, what was that last question? I'm sorry. I mean, I can't. Uh, can you explain to me what is a shoot company? Well, lady, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A shoe company? Yeah. I, I, lady, I didn't work for a shoe company. I worked for a suit company. Suit! That, that's what I said. What is a shoot company? No, lady, you say shoot company. What is this, the National Guard? I didn't work for the... You said shoot company. I didn't work for the National Guard. I worked for a suit company. Suit! S U. U-T-E, suit, you know the suit and tie, the stuff you put on? That's what I did. What do you mean, suit company? What do you think, I was in the army? Oh, suit company. I forgive me for mishearing you. And I thought I was supposed to be deaf. Uh, yeah, it's just a joke. <laughs> what are you laughing about, lady? Listen, I need a job. I need a eat. What are you laughing about? How long have you been working for them? How long did you work for them? Yeah, what you say? How long did you work for the suit company? Oh, well, at least you got it right this time. Yeah, yeah, suit company. What do you think? I, uh, well, well, Annie Oakley, I work for her. I mean, you know, at least you got it right. For Pete's sake, for crying out loud. I'm the one that's supposed to be deaf, not you. <laughs> I'm sorry, lady. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm nice at home anyway. Listen, I worked there, I was afraid that you was going to ask me that, I mean, because I didn't work there on time. So, could you please let me know how long you've been working there? Eh? How long have you been working there? Do you remember? Eh? Do you remember how long you've been working there? Uh, how long I've been working there? Was it, uh, you, asking me, <laughs> you asking me that? Yes. Is it a year, two years, three years, five years? Yeah, well, you know, I almost made it up to one year, and so... And what happened that you lost your job? 
Well, I worked there for about a month and uh, giving out fries in the street in Manhattan. So I did live in Manhattan before I went to Texas, I mean, you know. And my, so then now I'm in Utah, but I worked there for about a month in that suit company. And uh, well, what happened was is that, that uh, well, you know, I had to go to Texas. Texas, and you know how hard that is? I mean, I'm a, I'm a giant fan of football giants, 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 you know? And it was hard going to Texas and being, a, you know, being in front of all these Dallas Cowboy fans that never won anything at all, and now, that was hard, that was hard. But I mean, that's why I left, you know, because I had to go to Dallas and because it was cold in New York. It was cold, miss. I mean, I mean, miss, it was cold in New York. I mean, sometimes it got the, you know, it got really, I mean, you know, look, that temperature is awful, awful. Yeah, and I go to Dallas, I have arthritis, I have, I have a stress, 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 for often. I can't even say it. Then I had to go to Dallas for my, you know, I mean, you know, it, well, at least it was hot over there. But anyway, that's why I left, lady. I left that company. And, uh, you know, they even gave me a free suit in Christmas. It's better than a rubber chicken. Well? Well, uh, may I ask why did you move to Texas? I told you, lady, why I moved to Texas. I mean, can't you hear? Ah, uh, sorry, lady. I mean, I just didn't mean to disrespect you, but, uh, Listen, you can't hear, I can't, lady, can I ask you a question? Uh, sure, ask me a question, go ahead. Are you hard of hearing? I mean, I'm the one that, I mean, I'm old, I don't know how old you are, I mean, you know, I, I, but listen, I left there because of my arthritis of my hand, because of my bone condition, I have osteoporosis. I don't even know how to say it, you know, and then and my bones hurt, 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 hurt. Had to go to Texas, the red state, and I'm a Democrat, for crying out loud, and I had to go over there, and that's painful, too. Okay, did you work? Oh, those Republicans and all that, yeah, I'm sorry, huh? No? Did you work at all in Texas? Well, I mean, you know, I'm trying to find a job, but I mean, you know, it's kind of hot over there, so I mean, you know, I got too lazy, you know, looking for jobs all the time, you know, I'm, uh, 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 and so, I mean, you know, I, you know, I was, uh, seeking some employment, you know, I was getting, uh, I was getting some food stamps, so I kind of, well, I mean, you know, I know you don't want to hear all that because you're a rich woman, you don't care about all that stuff. But anyway, a man has to eat, 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 and the past is the past, and the present is the present. I need to work, 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 work. Well. Okay, so what, did you do anything there? Yeah, I mean, I watch TV, that's what I did, I relax, I mean, listen, uh, listen, what do I have to do with, with um, well, uh, listen, it's hard to get a job, and uh, when you're kind of old, you know, a lot of people don't want to give you the opportunity like you don't want to know, and so I didn't find one, and he have the connections. But did you do any far as job training or try to prepare yourself to get a job while you were in Texas? Listen, lady, I told you, that I, well, let me be nice. Let me just calm down. Let me breathe. Listen, lady. Uh, what did you say? What was that question again? Did, did you do anything to prepare yourself for employment while you were in Texas? Well, I mean, I read a lot of books and things like that on uh, how to prepare yourself for a job interview and, and things like that. And uh, and I really, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I was reading the Bible a lot, you know, and a lot of passages and, and things like that. And so, I, you know, I mean, I, I prepared myself for my future. And then after that, I went to Utah. And, uh, you know, uh, 
my listen lady i worked in 1993 i mean i'm sorry i don't have too much work experience i mean you know i'm sorry about that but listen the past is the past and the present is the present and the future is the future i offer you a lot in this company i offer you a lot a lot a lot a lot <laughs> Uh, what are you laughing at, Porter? Hello? Oh, yes. Well, I think that well, right. got your we tongue. Can we go on to the next question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go on to the next question, because I have another interview after you. What do you think? I mean, you know, I have things to do, lady. All right, we can go to the next question. Go ahead. Well? Tell me this. Why do you want to work for our company? Well, I, I'm sorry, lady. I just, I just, cigarettes are killing me. I can't break the habit. I mean, I, oh man, it pays to buy the best. Well, I, I, yeah, well, uh, lady, what was that question again? Why do you want to work for our company? Well, you know, I like marketing, and I think that I'll be a good, uh, I mean, even though you're a, a Mormon, and uh, I think that uh, we still have to work, and I, and I, and I, you know, I like marketing. I like working in advertisement, and, and uh, I think this will be a good career, and uh, I know everything about your establishment, about your business, everything. I know Every secret, I mean, I know everything that is to know about your company. And I got research in the internet, I did research in the internet. And I got a lot of, I got a lot of info on you. And I think it's a good company. And I would like to join. That's what I would like to know. Yes, but the only thing that troubles me is that you left the Mormon religion. Listen, lady, I don't think that's a wise thing for you to say. I mean, you're, you're giving me a job interview. We're not talking about religion. But anyway, let me answer that question. I mean, what'd you say? You feel a little uncomfortable? Uncomfortable. Well, I know it all the time. You see, a Mormons always hold it against us. And, and you always say that we, I mean, you know, you teach it that we're apostates and, and those that are apostates are not going to go to those three kingdoms that I used to believe in. I just can't clear my throat. <laughs> I mean, listen, I used to be a Mormon and I know very well about the three kingdoms that you preach about. The celestial kingdom, which is the highest the terrestrial kingdom and the terrestrial kingdom and I and I believed in all those doctrines. I don't believe it anymore. And I, 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 did you ask me why did I leave the church? The Mormon church that is. Uh yeah, tell me. And also explain to me why do you think we should hire you? Well, listen, I think you should hire me because I'm the best, the best that is. I don't think nobody can do a job that I can. Listen, doesn't matter that I had only a second grade education. I can do a good job. Job, 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 J-O-B-E, see? I know how to spell. Well, anyway, why did I leave the Mormon church? Well, I left the Mormon church because it's the, I mean, listen, that's a cult. You said it's a religion, but it's not even a religion. It's a cult, 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 C-U-L-T, cult. And, you know, they twist the scriptures to their own destruction. That's what they do. And that Joseph Smith and Brigham Young really let people into the, the perdition. He was, uh, you know, one day he, he teaches that, uh, that polygamy is wrong, and then in, in 1843, he, 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 he's an advocate for it. But polygamy, that is. Having 27 wives and 41, I don't even know what number it is. I lost count. And then, you know, he, he preaches, you know, works. You know, he, he teaches that you can be saved by works, 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 works. 
Using Matthew chapter 5 verse 48 of uh, Matthew's gospel and twisting it around, you understand? And he says that you have to be perfect. Be perfect. Even if, you're, even if your heavenly father is perfect. But he twisted that around. I mean, you want to hear more? Hello, hello, hello. But are you aware that we believe in Jesus? Yeah, I know you believe in Jesus, but you just, yeah, yeah, but what Jesus? What Jesus? I mean, a lot of people believe in Jesus, you know. I mean, you know, you have, you know, you have a lot of Jesuses out there. I mean, I'm you know, sorry, lady. I mean, these cigarettes are killing me, but I'm going to break the habit one of these days. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but the thing is, well, listen, lady. I mean, yeah. I mean listen, I, I believe that there's only one Jesus, and that's Jesus of Nazareth. He was eternal God, made in the likeness of sinful flesh. And you don't even have crosses in your, in your temples over there, the Mormon temples in Utah. You don't even have that. There's no cross, you know, polygamy, no crosses, and you can be, you, you, you teach that you can become a god, and, 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 and you know, I mean, a god, <laughs> there's only one god, that's what I believe. Well, we believe there are many. Many what? Many gods. Many gods. Well, I mean, listen. I know you use the scriptures to your to your own destruction. I mean, you know. I mean, uh, uh, many gods and many lords. And then, uh, listen. Uh, I heard this interpretation from my friend Greg, G R E G, and he taught me, you know, about the fallacies of the Mormon Church. And then he taught me that, uh, well, there's only one God. You know, before, before, uh, well, what was that scripture? I mean, I'm kind of an old man, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Isaiah chapter 43, and verse 10, 10, 1, 0, 10, 10, 10. Just like 10, 10 wins news in New York. Well, that's, that's a 10 for you. How about those apples? This is in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 10. It says that uh, there was no God, there was no God formed before me, and there will be no God formed after me. I'm sorry, I'm preaching, lady. I'm on my soapbox. Well, I understand. Okay, sir. However, um, yeah? I just want to find out, I just want to find out, um, what exactly do you believe? I told you I believe, lady. They have to spell it out. You know I can't spell. I mean, listen, what I believe is that there's one God, one God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, one God, three persons, blessed Trinity, I believe in the Trinity, based upon 1 John chapter 5 and verse 7, he's three agree in one, that's what I heard. And you, you Mormons, you know, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I, I want this job, and I don't know if I'm going to get it. But anyway, I mean, you know, you believe in all these gods, you believe that. Listen, I can give you the list. Uh, uh, listen, you believe that Adam is a god, and uh, you, be you believe that uh, you're a god, and you believe that Jesus is a god. I don't have a problem with that, but uh, you believe that he's a god. And you, and you, and you, and you hate God, that is. And then you believe that, uh, you, you know, that people can become gods. I mean, you got gods more than, than everybody that the dry cleaner has uh, hangers. That's what I heard. You know, you, I've been a Mormon for, you know, I was a Mormon anyway. I was a Mormon for 25 years. I know all your doctors, and I know all, and I was invited behind, well, behind the scenes in the Mormon temple. And I know them on the ways they use. I used to use them myself. 
And, and these aprons, and, 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 and according to Genesis chapter 3 and verse 7, and I know this is a job interview, but I'm sorry I have to say why I left the Mormon church. Genesis chapter 3 verse 7, that the, the aprons of, you know, the Adam made with Eve. And by the way, it says Adam and Eve and not Adam and Steve, and that's another thing altogether. But anyway, I mean, you know, uh, you know all these doctrines and all these gods and, and uh, I mean, you know, that's why I left the Mormon church. And you shall leave the Mormon church too, lady. Uh, no, I don't can't become a goddess. No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm a little old. No, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Um, uh, thank you for your advice and your opinions, however. It's not my advice. That's the advice of the scriptures. That's the, that's the word of God. God, God, God. One God. Not two or three gods and four gods and, and the thousands of gods you got and, and, a, and, a, and a star near Kolob, C-O-L-O-B, at least I got that right. I mean, you believe, you believe in all these gods. I mean, you know, and that's why I left the Mormon church, because of, uh, then you believe that you can be saved by your good works, 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 works. Well, anyway, lady, that's why I left the Mormon church, and, and I admonish you, before it's too late, you're not going to go to the celestial kingdom, the terrestrial kingdom, and the terrestrial kingdom is only one kingdom. Jesus said in chapter 6 of Matthew, and I don't want to take too much of your time, he said, I think it's in verse 9, I don't know if my memory serves me correct, Matthew chapter 6, and let uh, me take the scriptures out over here. Oh, yeah, they're right over here. And, uh, wait for a second, lady. I have it right over here. And, we, and then we check out the Bible. And, uh, well, I think it's over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, over there it says Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. Look at, read it in black and white. And look, it's even written in red. That's Jesus talking right there. And if you love Jesus, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna do His word. In Luke chapter six, verse forty-six, He says, yeah. He says, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things that I say? That's what He said. I mean, what, what was I? Oh yeah, Matthew. Let me go to Matthew. So Matthew chapter chapter six, verse nine. It says over here. It says, "Thy kingdom come." Only one kingdom. One, one, one. And look at in Romans chapter uh, chapter fourteen. And when this lady, uh, I'll finish with this because I know you don't have too much time. Uh, uh, listen. No, no, wait, 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 don't interrupt me. It says over here, it says, in four, chapter 14, verse, uh, what is it over here? Uh, chapter 7, no, wait a minute. Romans chapter 14, in verse 17 of Romans, uh, the, uh, the book of Romans, it says this. It says that the kingdom of God is not food and drink, but it's righteousness. Yeah, what does it say? Righteousness, peace, and joy, and all the else. That's what that says. Well, yes, yes, I'm hearing you. However, sir, I, I would like to thank you for coming in. Uh, we do have other applicants, and we will review your application and determine our decision. And we will call you as soon as we know who will be hired and best suited for the job. And what? I said we have other applicants to review, and we will let you know in two weeks whether who will be hired for the job and who will be the best student. In two weeks? <laughs> what do you think? Money grows on trees? I mean, I have to eat, lady. I, 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 need, I need money, money, money. I mean, you know, I, I need to eat, and I need, I need to buy food. Listen. I mean, I don't have any more food stamps. Uh, uh, it's, the cart is empty. Empty. I mean, listen, I, you might be rich, but I'm not rich. Well, how am I going to eat? How 
fine lady, listen, I, you know. But here, you're like a square peg in a round hole. What do you mean a square peg in a round hole? What do you mean? Listen, you're being a little bit disrespectful. You know, you know. You just don't fit in, sir. I'm sorry. Well, listen. What do you mean I don't fit in? I fit in like a glove, you know. No, you do not. You're not one of us. What do you mean? Ah, yeah, one of us, a Mormon church, ah, LDS, okay, you know, yeah, I went, I, I, I was waiting till you said that, you know, ah, uh, uh, ah, yeah. you know, listen, I bet you if I went to BYU, you would accept me. Well, I have money. What do you think, money grows on trees for me to go to college? Well, you know. What do you mean, sir? It, it, it's going past my lunch time here, and I, I'd really like to eat, so... Okay, go ahead and munch on your sandwich, you know, and when you munch and brunch and all that stuff, I, I hope you think of me that I don't have nothing, nothing, you understand? Well, anyway, lady, thanks for your, you know, I, uh, Well, I have to go to my interview, too, so listen, lady, I don't want to leave, like, you know, I just... I want to be a good testimony to you and just, uh, just try to leave the Mormon church. Try to leave. You can't be saved by your good works and you have to, you need the real Jesus Christ. Not the Jesus of the, norm, of the Mormon church. You need Jesus. I'll think about everything that you said and uh, I will get back to you. What do you mean? Uh, I, I really, I hate to be rude, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. What are you, do you want to call the security guards? You know, I don't understand. Oh, I'm not going to call the security guard. It's just that the interview has ended. I have to eat my lunch and interview more employees. Um, well, why do you have to interview more employees? I was good enough. Because I have to be fair to everybody. Just like I interviewed you, I have to interview them. All right, lady, listen, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be uh, disrespectful, but anyway, I'm going to, uh, can I shake your hand again? Uh, no, that's quite all right, sir. Uh, my hand is still hurting from before, okay? Uh, sorry about that, I don't know my own strength, you know, the only thing I have is spinach. The only thing I have is spinach, refrigerator spinach, that's why I'm so strong, I'm like Popeye. Oh, yes, yes, you are. It was really nice meeting you. You are a great person. You have a good personality, and we'll get back to you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you leave, listen, listen, that's an oxymoron. That's what that is, you know. I, he, he, you said I'm a great person and all this stuff, and yet you don't want to give me the job. What is this? Because, sir, you don't have skills. Like I said, you're a nice person. You have a good personality. Eh? I like you. Eh? You don't have the qualifications for this job. All right, well, I feel a little disappointed, but I knew that was going to be the thing when I left the Mormon church and a lot of people was going to discriminate against me. Not only because of my age, but because I left the church. I left. But anyway, you know, something I'd rather suffer. I'd rather suffer. As a true child of God, and be obedient to Him, and you know, let the chips fall where they may. Yeah. <laughs> All right, lady. Well, thanks for your time. So anyway, you know, listen. The only thing I would say is to you. Can I just say, give you a last word? Best wishes to you. Listen. Can I give you a last word or not? Then I'll let you have your lunch and munch. Uh, no, sir. I'm actually leaving the office now. Well, wait a minute, lady. I want to speak to you about the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, he didn't only die on a cross for the forgiveness of our sins. That he was raised from the dead. Dead, dead, dead. And that says, it says that in Matthew chapter 24, verse 6, he is risen. And it says it again in Mark's gospel, chapter 16, in verse 6, that he was risen. And it says in verse 6 of uh, Luke's Gospel, chapter 24, he's risen. Hallelujah, he's risen from the dead. And you better repent, lady, from your sins and all y'all Mormons out there. You know, he's coming soon, lady, in the clouds of glory. And every eye shall see him. 
And all the nation shall wail well because of him. Even so, amen. I'm the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord. Says that in chapter 1 of Revelation. That's what that says. <laughs> All right, sir. I'll think about everything that you said, okay? What do you mean you gotta think about it? You gotta think about it now. You don't know. You don't know what's in that lunch. You might die after it. Who knows? You gotta repent now, 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 now. Now is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. How shall you escape if you neglect so great salvation? It's appointed unto man once to die after that the judgment. Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Men, 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 including women. Okay. Well, uh, all right. I have. What do you mean, uh, oh. All right. Bye, sir. Bye. Okay. Bye, lady. And God, God, God bless you. And uh, thank you for the opportunity to interview me. And uh, well, uh, you know, I'm gonna pray for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. So have a great day. Have a good day. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, bye bye.